Hello everybody, welcome to another video. On this week's tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube banner using GIMP. And since I'm going to redesign my own banner, I figured it would be a perfect time to uh, kill two birds with one stone. So stay tuned. Okay, let's uh, get started. Let's start a new image. Now the image size is 2560 and the height is 1440. That's usually the size of a YouTube banner. Hit OK. We're going to fill it with uh, the foreground cutter. Alright, next I'm going to open a YouTube banner template. It will help us out in terms of where to put, you know, our text, our logos, you know, and position of our backgrounds. So this would be a guide that will help us uh, do that. So I'm going to, I'll leave a link to uh, where you could download this template. So, um, but you can also Google it. Uh, just put in YouTube banner template and it would show you where you could get this uh, this uh, template and as you see here this is the area where you're gonna put your logos your text and um, your background I mean you don't really need to put anything on top or in the bottom I mean that could be just le left out as white space if you need want to but you could also you know put like a whole background in the whole uh, picture and then just position you know some text and some logo over here and you know it's, it's pretty much up to you um, what I'm gonna do is I gotta create a new layer I gotta leave transparency and I want to just highlight this area just, uh, and fold it in so what I gotta do is I gotta just click on here and I just want to uh, you know fill this in with a white cutter so alright next I'm gonna bring in a picture to use as a background so I'm gonna open as a layer I'm gonna select this picture Now, um, I kind of want like these two bridges to be like in the centerpiece of the of uh, the banner. So I would just go uh, position it a little further down until it actually in the picture. And that should look pretty good actually. Well, yeah, I don't really need the waterfront. I just want the background of the, the buildings and the bridges. Let's keep going a little bit further down. Okay, that's good enough. Also, I got to add a alpha channel to this layer. Because I want to delete the top and this bottom part. So what we would do is you would go here, invert it, and just hit the delete button. Also, I'm going to turn it into a black and white photo. I don't feel like the color is going to look good with the white background. So let me just... take away the cutter and just turn it into a black and white photo oh I got it to select the whole picture to do that so let's do it again 
luminosity. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in uh, a picture of myself. You know, might as well bring in uh, my ugly mug into a uh, picture so people will know who uh, this YouTube channel belongs to. So let's move this in. Now I want to keep it um, close to the um, around here because uh, you want to be able to see it in the in the in a cell phone. You don't want it to be too stick out in the corner. It might cut you off a little bit. So I'll try to keep it more center. In fact, let's add some guides to uh, to show where the exact center of um, the picture is. Let's do a horizontal guide and a vertical guide to uh, does, uh, have an idea of what uh, the center of the picture post will be at. So that's the center. So you want to keep it as close to the center as you can. So let me just put it just about here. Let's also, um, you know, take away the cutter around this. Let's turn it, let's turn it into a black and white as well. Uh, actually, lightness is probably a little better. You see more of the face. So let's leave that lightness. All right, now, um, I want to see if I could blend this, uh, the sides of these uh, background into the white. So it would be a little bit more, uh, because this king cut kind of doesn't look that good to me. Um, so let's add, um, add a layer mass, uh, white capacity. And let's use the granule tool again. And um, let's go with a uh, spherical shape. No, it's the other way around. That's actually a good way of testing. So you just click in the middle of the page and go all the way to the edge. Yeah, that looks good. As you see how it blends in with the white here. And just leave the center um, or define. All right. Now we're gonna add some text. So let's uh, click on the text deal. I have a particular font that I downloaded already that I've uh, used in uh, my banner. So you just go here. And uh, where is it? There it is. And uh, you want to, well, let's go back to black. Um, let's put it at 175. And put it center. And we're going to put it on this side here. And the wow. Okay, uh, let's push it down a bit. This goes down a bit. So yeah. you don't want it to be too close to the edge. It might get cut off if uh, if you end this in a mobile uh, screen. So let's put it right in the close to the center. All right, let's uh, give this, um, actually let's also move it close to the center a bit. Yeah. Not too much. That's about that. All right, let's also um, 
Well, we don't want the edge to get cut off either. So, all right, let's give it a, a little bit of um, an outer glow. Uh, let's go with white. We're going to keep it as a black and white theme. So, let's make the white very pronounced. Let's go with 15. And now that looks like it's popping a bit. Now we um, add a subtitle or a sub, um, like a sub um, wording to it or a sub name to it. And we don't need it to be 175. We could just go down to um, 60, be fine. And uh, let's see, I gotta just put uh, a few key words about my channel. So it's gonna be pretty much tutorials, uh, give it a star to separate it, uh, vlogs, and Oh, a few, uh, a few giggles. Oh, a few funnies. Veils. Okay, let's uh, push this out a bit so it can fit. There we go. Let's also give it. Um, Outer glow as well. All right, that looks actually pretty good. Now let's uh, let's flatten all these uh, layer down. All right, let's move. This one a little up. And a little bit close. Like that. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now we could export it out of. Um, let's remove the guides and let's remove. Uh, um, the template we don't need the template to guide us anymore so let's export this out we're going to export it out as a JPEG or a PMG it doesn't really matter but, I mean but uh, JPEG is usually what you would uh, use to upload your banner so and we will call it banner and we will put it in the desktop export yes all right now let's upload it to YouTube and see what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like after it uploaded. As you see, uh, it's pretty well centered. Uh, the edge kind of fade out to white, which is what I want. You know, I don't want those sharp edges. I just want it to kind of blend in into a white background. So let's see what it looks like in the mobile phone. Okay, as you can see, this is what it looks like on the cell phone. Uh, doesn't look too bad. It's um, it's a little bit too close to the edge. I think I'm gonna have to move that in a little bit. But other than that, it looks like it fit pretty good. So let's see if uh, what it looks like when we put it uh, landscape. Okay, uh, it looks pretty good in landscape too. Like I said, uh, Phil Giggle is a little close to red, so we're going to have to move that in a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty good. 
So that's how you make a YouTube banner. Uh, leave in the comment uh, what you think of my banner. And uh, do you found this uh, tutorial useful? And uh, I hope it would uh, bring you some inspiration on how to uh, create your own banner. As always, you know, have a nice day. And I uh, see you on the next video. And also, uh, hit the subscribe button so uh, to keep track of uh, upcoming videos. Like always, take care. And uh, have a nice day.